Security is expected to be tight as different heads of state, heads of government, and representatives will take turns addressing the General Assembly. The United Nations Security Council has, within the past hour, voted unanimously 15 0 to impose new sanctions on North Korea. Bailey calls the sanctions by far the strongest measures. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. First and Two days after his fiery speech at the UN General the Assembly, States U.S. President Donald Trump is moving separate. swiftly to make good on his threats against North Korea. These are targeted sanctions uh, which are aimed not directly at North Korea, but at persons, companies, financial institutions that conduct trade with the country. Trump also lashed out at Iran, whom he accused of supporting Hezbollah and other terrorists. The Iran deal was one of the worst and most one-sided transactions the United States has ever entered into. The ignorant, absurd and hateful rhetoric filled with ridiculously baseless allegations. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres is calling for a pragmatic, people's-oriented approach as the world continues to grapple with persisting drug problems. I'm convinced that we need to have much more people's-oriented policies than trying to look into these also from a humanistic perspective. No. Guterres' statement is the latest in a string of international voices calling for a re-examination of the war on drugs. Philippine Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Peter Caetano took the podium here at the UN General Assembly Hall at the UN headquarters in New York for the very first time. And he used that occasion to ask for fairness from the international community in judging the country's campaign against illegal drugs. The Philippines' comprehensive campaign against illegal drugs is a necessary instrument to preserve and protect the human rights of all Filipinos. It is never an instrument to violate any individual's or group's human rights. But whether the voice of the highest official of the United Nations will carry any weight or will fall on deaf ears remains to be seen. Mike Navalio, Mike Navalio, Mike Navalio, ABS-CBN News, UN Headquarters, New York.